Hello, we're in England. These are two items for collection from England. I'm going to take my time on this one because there's such a lot to get across and um, these are un unscripted single take videos and I I'm going to speak slowly because it's the only way I can sort of describe them adequately. We've got a pair of Japanese pops. They are Meiji period, which means really means Victorian era. Um, vendors will say, oh, it's Meiji period, oh, it's Meiji period. But it's such a meaningless description. It doesn't really narrow it down at all. Um, I, will, I will try and narrow it down. I think they're going to be 1905 to 1915. Um, that's because what you have here is this export where Satsuma. Satsuma uh, is a, a type of mass-produced, let's, let's just be honest about it, it's mass-produced export ware. The Chinese had mass-produced stuff, they had Cantonese, family ware, blah, blah, blah. It was an industry, they're making as much as they can, they're packing ships, they're selling it to visitors, they're selling it domestically. Um, people are ordering it from abroad, people are filling the ships with it. Um, in, in the holds of the ships, they, they would be packed in straw or in shredded paper. And it came to England and it would go into a department store and you go into the shop and you buy it. And it's exotic. It's not English pottery, nothing like it. This 100 years ago would be very exotic and a desirable thing to have. So I see it's not fashionable at the moment. The colours are not fashionable colours. They're considered garish, they're considered tasteless. They're not fashionable. But they're very inexpensive. You know, any Japanese pottery always tracks the Chinese. So you have the Chinese prices, which are high, the dominant prices. And you always have the Chinese, sorry, the Japanese, which is always lower, comparing like with like. Why? I don't know, but that is the case. Now, this is not porcelain. Porcelain is a glass-like a glass -like substance, where smash a piece of porcelain, the whole thing's white all the way through. White, like your teeth. Bright sharp, white, hard, stain-resistant, vitreous-type pottery. Sometimes it shows light through, sometimes it doesn't. This is not porcelain. This is clay, pottery, stoneware, earthenware, with a white or porcelain effect glaze. So we have to understand what it is. Not porcelain, it's a softer material to look like porcelain. And if you were to smash it, it would look like a biscuit. It would be muff, muffy brown or buffy brown, brown or grey, grey e ochre. Um, so that's the material. Satsuma style. It's, it's like a Kyoto where it's not porcelain, but not, you know, they, they can make, you can get good Satsuma. Very, very fine Satsuma, incredible detail, lots of gold. But this is not that very fine Satsuma. This is this export ware. Now, why have I got these, these, these vases? Now, they, they are um, a pair, and I, I like pairs of things, as you, as you know from the website. And they are of some, some age, and they have got a, a use. They're dynamic and they're colourful and in the right place. They're going to look great. And investment-wise, I think they're going to go up. I mean, they're very, like, very expensive, these Japanese pots. They are, what I would say, based on the shape of a sensor, which is an incense burner. An, an incense burner would have been bronze, with or without a lid. The lid might have been slotted, it might have had two handles on the side, it might have had some legs on it, it might have had no legs on it. But I think what they are is a, is a, a jar, or a vase, if you like, but really it's a jar using the form of a sensor, which they would have used for thousands of years in Japan. And you have the dogs, or the dragons on top, foo dogs, foe dogs, people call them. I don't actually know what they are. They're a dragon or a dog. Unfortunately, this lid has got a crack. Not a bad crack because it's not all the way around. Oh, it is all the way around. Sorry if it's a bad crack. It's been glued. But it's, it's quite close. There's no gaping holes, but it hasn't been done by a professional. There's a signature in the, in the top, you can see. It's nice to see a signature in both tops. Same on the bottom. These are quite crude signatures, but they're not uh, transfers and they're not impressed, they are signatures. Um, nicely made lids, you have these little sockets which are not uh, glazed where, it's, where there's a little hole. Likewise, this bit is glazed. 
So it's sort of a very satisfying fit. Quite a dull fit on these because, not only because it's, uh, I mean that would usually mean it's damaged, but I think it's really more the fact it's not a porcelain. I can't see any damage on that. I mean, there's, there's, there's manufacturing flaws, defects in the, in the way it's been fired. That's a good example there. You know, that's not damage, that's just a defect in the glaze and the way it's been made. You have little holes which have stop, stopped your legs from exploding because they're hollow. These are masks. There is some gold. Uh, one of these characters, usually the warriors. I can't see any swords on those, so they're not warriors there. I think you've got armour on this guy here. These are little panels of armour. That seems it seems the panels of armour. So I don't think these are evidently evidently uh, warriors. Actually, some paint damage here. I think that paint is nothing to do with ours. I think it's been spilt on. We won't take it off. We'll leave it on. Um, so I don't know what they are. Philosophers, they all say, if it's not a warrior, they say, oh, it's a philosopher, oh, it's a priest. I don't know what they are. Same with that one there. Can't see swords. On that one, I can't see swords or armour. And that one there, I can see, it seems to be armour. Japanese armour is made of sort of, not made of metal like, like in Europe, it's a different type of armour. Don't know. Someone will know. So we have uh, yellow paint, uh, oxide red paint, we have black hair, we have gold, and in profile you can see the globs of paint, how it's dried, really nice, nicely done. So back to where, where we started, a pair of useful jars, they're not Chinese, and they haven't got the price of a Chinese pair, they're Japanese, but they're very impactful and very pleasing. And in the right place, they're going to look great. If you can tie in the colours to a scheme, then that's that's all the better. So thank you very much for having a look. Hope I've been of some use and I've given you some interesting aspects. Bye bye.